Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got to turn that off. It looks like nothing's going to change. Everything still remains the same. You know what? I can't do what 10 people tell me to do. So I guess I'll remain the same because I'm just going to be here sitting here resting my bones. But I'm telling you this loneliness won't leave me alone because it's 10,000 miles I've roamed just to make YouTube my home. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something. We told you guys about the IRS and about how they still accept bills of exchange. But we didn't go into detail explaining to you how and why that's so important. So shall we do that now? Well, let's just do it real quick. <sighs> the Treasury and the bank say, yo, promissory notes, your bills of exchange are worthless pieces of paper. How wrong they are. Ladies and gentlemen, they can't be worthless pieces of paper. Do you know why? We'll talk about it in a second. Give me a moment. Got to turn y'all on pause. Real quick before I get off into that, I, I've taken a moment away from everything. This is Black in Minneapolis. I've not seen this movie. Originally it came out in 2018, I'm told. This is 2020. Not seen it only 13 minutes, like I said yesterday. But I'm disappointed. Got to turn off my voice recognition. Just had it on again. Um, ladies and gentlemen, very disappointed in this society of ours. But enough being said, let's get off into the video that we are doing because we's got some talking. Sorry, I'm transferring files and movies. Um, but we've got some talking to do. Ladies and gentlemen, what this is a copy of the IRS page taken today at 6 a.m. in the morning. This is instructions for 8824. 8824, go ahead and take a look at it. Form number 8824 is like kind exchanges. Like kind exchanges in section 1043, conflicts of interest sales. You just pay attention, okay? This is going to be some enlightening information. Now, general instructions. For the latest developments in this form, go look at that form, y'all. Just go ahead and download the form. Here's a copy of the form. This form. Like kind exchanges. Okay? Just pay attention. Ladies and gentlemen, what's new? We don't care about what's new. Let's go talk about what's old. What's the purpose of this form? Well, see, part one and two of the form. What part one and two at? Part one, part two. Okay? Part one and two of the form and part three. To report each exchange of business or investment real property for real property of like kind. Real property of like kind. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> certain members of the executive branch of the federal government and the judicial branch, oh, judicial officers, not branch, I apologize, of the federal government, uh oh, not the judicial branch, just judicial officers of the federal government and the executive branch of the federal government? You mean there is a difference? What's the federal government? Anybody know what the federal federal government? Hey, fe federal government? Hey, fe fe nobody answering, y'all. I, I tried calling the federal government, but nobody answered. I, 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 let me go look at the Constitution for a federal, no federal government in the Constitution? But, but where, where's this federal government thing at? Federal government! Hey, anybody ever ask for a federal government? Hey, can we order a federal government? No, we didn't order a federal government. Where's the federal government at, y'all? Hmm? I keep hearing about this federal government. Where is the federal government in this country? I ain't seen no federal government. I, I heard of the Federalist Papers, but I ain't heard of no federal government. I heard of the United States government and the American government, but never heard of a federal government. Anybody heard of a federal? Okay, uh, certain members of the executive branch of the federal government and the judicial officers of the federal government. Here's part four. To elect, to defer, gain on conflict of interest sales. Judicial officers of the federal government. Why, why can't it be judicial officers of the Judicial branch. 
of the government. Hmm. Interesting, ain't it? Well, anyway, federal government? See, nobody's answering. I just asked for the federal government several times, and I can't get an answer. Can anybody tell me what's the phone number to the federal government? Hey, 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 who's the executive of the federal government? Who, who's the, who's the, the, the person running that office? Federal government. Do they have a president? Who, who's the president? Donald Trump. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I, I guess I got to go call Donald Trump about this federal government thing because I ain't never heard of it before. Federal government. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's, we're going to do a Google search for federal government later and see if Google heard of federal government. Oh, oh, multiple exchanges. If you make more than one like-kind exchanges, you can file a summary on one form, page 24, and attach your own statement showing all of the information requested on form 824 for each exchange. You can do an amendment. That's what they say. And include your name and identify a number at the top of each page of the statement on the summary on the 824. Or you can just simply use the 824 and do several copies. Lord have mercy, and just say attachment A, attachment B, attachment C, attach, you know, and so on and so forth. Okay? <laughs> Enter only your name and identifying numbers summary on line one. And the total recognized gain of all exchanges on line 23. And the total basis of all like kind property on line 24. What do they mean by like kind property? Well, property that is like equal, it's an exchange, equal exchange. That type of, see, exchange is used in qualified exchange accommodation arrangements. See, ladies and gentlemen, even exchange, dollar for dollar, that's an even exchange. Dollar for dollar is an even exchange. A bill of exchange is dollar for dollar. See, this is the bill of exchange provisions of the IRS that we talked about. Remember I said the IRS accept right kind exchanges, bills of exchanges. Exchanges, pay attention to the word exchanges, okay? So, you go and buy a house. You give the banking institution a promissory note and application for a loan. And in exchange for that, they give you a home. Well, they don't actually give you the home. They give credits to the seller, and then you get the home, and they get Federal Reserve notes. See, that's an even exchange. All the parties get exactly what they're asking for, no more, no less. Nobody makes a gain. The homeowner selling the property, well, he's selling the property, but he's not selling the property because why? He's not making a profit. He's giving an even exchange. The property is being given to you, so the homeowner is losing something, so the bank gives him a temporary credit to make him even so he can break even, even exchange, okay? And, 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 and hold on, you... Go to the bank and say, I need to borrow money. Here's a promissory note. This is my collateral security for the total amount of the application for the loan. Even exchange. Now, the bank has given the credit. See, the bank is out of something because they gave the credit to the, the seller. Oh, oh, but the government gives it Federal Reserve notes. Even exchange. The money is issued to the bank in exchange or return for government obligations. No cash, bills of exchange, bank acceptances. The money shall be worth 100 cents on the dollar, 100 cents on the dollar, 100 cents on the dollar. Because it is backed by the credit of the nation. It should represent a mortgage on all the homes and all the property of all the people of the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your even exchange. That's your like kind or even, like kind, even exchange. Do you know that you don't pay taxes on an even exchange because there's no capital gain? You know, I went to work yesterday, and when I went to work, my boss gave me some money for the work I performed. Oh, that's an even exchange? So I ain't got to pay taxes on an even, a like kind exchange. I can fill out this form and not have to pay any more income tax. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I go to the store and I give them, them coupons and they give me what I'm looking for. That's an even exchange. You mean to tell me it's always like kind exchanges? Oh, Lord, it be, Lord, it be. How do we not know this? How come nobody told us about this even exchange? Generally, man, I done that 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 general Lee just be showing up everywhere. He must be the greatest general ever. Well, General Lee says if you exchange business or investment real property solely for business or investment real property of like kind, well, Section 1031 provides that no gain or loss 
is recognized. Even exchange. I done told y'all. I didn't read this before. I'm only reading this for the first time right now. Even exchange. If part of the exchange, you also receive other not like time property or money, and it's recognized as a gain. Okay? It's recognized as a gain. So when the banks charge interest, that's the gain. Well, let me give you something, ladies and gentlemen. That's your even exchange. That's your bill of exchange. That's your even exchange. Under the act, your bill of exchange is money. Your bill of exchange is the new money. It is security and gold for the Federal Reserve Banks. That's your even exchange. But let's segue from that just for a second. For a second? No, we don't go for more than a second, but we're going to segue. Get out of the way so I can click that minimize button. Ladies and gentlemen. Just so that you guys know, the banks, when they receive your promissory note and your application, they're receiving a gain. Why? Because they haven't given anything yet. However, when they sell the home, they pay the seller. They give them a temporary credit. So right now they have broken even. Uh oh, but there's some there's some unevenness. You received a home. But you gave in a promissory note. So right now, everybody's even. The Federal Reserve received money. Your promissory note is money. Because it is equal to the value of the Federal Reserve notes that's applied for. It's an even exchange. So, Federal Reserve receives the collateral security, the note, accompanied by an application. That's the collateral security. That's the collateral. That's the value. They give credit to the seller. That's the value. See, even exchange. The seller gives you the home. That's the value. Even exchange. None of the parties are out of anything. Yay! Everybody's happy. Even. Everybody's even. The seller got what he want. The buyer got what he want. The bank got what they want. Okay. Remember, the bank forecloses on the home. Because they held it as collateral. They weren't supposed to hold it as collateral because they already had the collateral. They had the collateral equal to the total amount of the loan. They had the collateral. So they could not demand another collateral. But wait, 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 wait. Then they foreclose on the home, taking the home, kicking you out of the home, and keeping the note. Look at Section 23. Look at Section 23. One the property is paid in full, they're supposed to return that note. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that's my phone, and this is SAA calling me, so i got to put y'all on hold. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. I have been on calls for roughly the last hour and a half, and that's my fault. Didn't plan on it, didn't intend for it to be that way. That's just the way it is, the way it was. And it is a very interesting morning. Give me a second. I have to plug things in and unplug things. And yay. So everything is kosher. And we will keep everything kosher and everything working the way it should. And life is good. Now, getting back to... These definitions. Let's find out what the definition of real property is, shall we? We're going to get back to the bill of exchange and real property and all that. See, Section 1031 doesn't apply to exchanges for real property held primarily for sale. But however, ladies and gentlemen, when you give them the bill of exchange, the promissory note, any application, and you receive a home in exchange, then that's an even exchange. There are no taxes associated with that. It's kind for kind, like kind. When the homeowner who sells the home to you receives the credit from the bank, he's receiving an even exchange. He's not making a profit. Well, he's selling the home for more than what he bought it for. No, that's not a profit. 
He's selling the home for this price. They're paying him the price he's selling it for. That's an even exchange. He's giving up the house because he's saying that's the value of the home. It's an even exchange. You're purchasing the home for the exact price he's selling the home for. You're giving a promissory note, which is collateral security, which is equal to the value of the application for Federal Reserve notes, an even exchange. People, the bank is receiving the Federal Reserve notes in exchange for the promissory note, which it deposits it with the United States Treasury, an even exchange, because the Treasury is receiving the promissory note in exchange for the Federal Reserve notes, its issues, and they're taking the promissory note and converting it to a bond, and they're calling it a Treasury bond, and then they're selling it. And they go, okay? Just that simple. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to show you is you shouldn't be paying taxes on any of your items that you're purchasing. Why? Because if you pay attention, it is called like kind or even exchange. Like kind means even. They're equal. This side is equal to that side. Like kind. Even. They're even. They equal each other. They're even exchanges. Okay, now you understand. Whew. Now let's understand something about this real property. I mean there could be fake property? You better believe there can be real property and fake property. Look, the, the, the real property definition, real property, defines real property as land. Excuse me? Land. Excuse me. Well, what's land? Anybody know what land is? Oh, well, my grandmama, she says that we're made up of every of the particles and minerals that's in the land. We have zinc in our bodies. We have other minerals. We have water. And just like the earth is composed of 75% water, our bodies is composed of 75% water. So she says we are land. That's why the Bible says from dust you were created and to dust you return. So you land, mother... Oh, okay, then my grandmama was right then. My grandma, we, we land. Okay, improvements on the land, unsevered natural products, that's us, of the land. That's us, we're natural products of the land. See, natural products of the land, that's us. We came from the land. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. <laughs> okay, sorry, I got a little carried away. And water, see, we're made out of water and airspace. Super adjacent to land. All that space around us. Ooh, and uh, super adjacent is above us. So above, as it is above, so it is below. Somebody came up with that stupid saying, saying it came from the scriptures. It ain't never come from nobody's scriptures. That's somebody coming up with a saying. But that's what they saying right here. It is further described as tangible. It is further described as tangible and intangible real property. As discussed later, what is tangible property? Tangible property is real property for the purpose of Section 1031 if it meets the following criteria. What's the following criteria? On the date of it is transferred and in exchange, the property is classified as real property under the laws of the state or local jurisdiction in which the property is located. So it's real property. Wait, hold on. It's classified as real property because you document the fact that it's for profit. You don't document the fact that it's not for profit. Personal property. Can real property be personal property? They say if it's movable property, of course it is. My real property is attached to the foundation. My real property and the foundation are not the same. It's attached to the foundation. Is it permanently attached? No, it can be removed. People move houses all the time. I, I've, seen, I've seen it. People move houses. People say, no, I'm moving to Virginia. I'm taking the house with me. And so they move the house. So the property is not permanent. Okay, there is no such thing as permanent in this world. Nothing lasts forever. Make it last forever. Ever. Don't let our love in. I'm sorry, Keith Sweat. <laughs> the bad man. Anyway. The property is specifically listed as real property in the regulations under section. Uh oh, see stocks? That is real property. See stock? That is real. Wait, stock? How can stock be real prop? Wait, no, did y'all see that? They said stocks can be real property. We're going to cover that later. The property is considered real property based on all the facts and circumstances under the various factors provided for in regulations of section 1.1031A-3. Subsection A, subsection 2, 
The parentheses mean subsection. The parentheses mean subsection. Keep that in mind. C. Property of fix. Or. To. Or. To. Or. Integrated into real property. Later. Each distinct asset is separately analyzed from any other distinct asset to which it relates for the purpose of determining whether or not the asset is real property under Section 1031. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me they just set up here and create a regulation and say my property is real property? Well, no, you can't create a regulation about my property. That's my private property. My private property cannot be regulated by you. You better go back and look at the First and the Fifth Amendment. My property cannot be regulated by you. My property is not a product of commerce. My property is a product of personal property. It's exempt from your commercial regulations. Don't play with me, mother, because I'm not here to play. I don't play them games. I don't know who you think you were dealing with. You may be dealing with all the other people like that, but this is my private property. This is my personal property. You tell me under what law you get to regulate personal and private property, and I'll show you a tyrant, and I'll show you somebody who's violating the law and depriving me of my rights under color and authority of law, for which is illegal, you ignorant mother... I'm sorry. Did, did I go there? I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be going there this early in the morning. It's too early in the morning for that. So let's talk about intangible property. Intangible property is real property. Intangible property is real property for the purpose of 1031. If it meets the following... Subject to exceptions provided for an intangible property that is never real property under 1031 next. On the date of the transfer, an intangible property is classified as real property under the laws of the state and local jurisdiction. It is specifically listed in regulation. This is real property. It derives its value from real property or an interest in real property and is inseparable from the real property or interest in the real property. For example, an easement or an option to acquire real property. See Regulation 1031 of Section 1. Intangible property that is never real property under Section 1031. The following assets are exceptions and not real property for the purpose of Section 1031, regardless of the classification of the property in the state and local level. Stocks, other than the type of stocks described in stocks that's real property. Next, we're going to talk about stocks that's real property in a minute. Bonds and notes, these are not real property. Bonds and notes, these are not real property. Other securities or evidence of indebtedness or interest. Interest in partnerships, other than interest in partnerships that affect the validity of elections under this section, section 761, to be excluded from applications of any and all parts of subchapter K. Certificates of trust or beneficial interest. Chooses. Choices chooses in action. Stocks that are real property. The following stocks are listed in regulations at section 1.1031, subsection A-3 as real property for section 1031 purposes. Stocks in a corporative, cooperative, corporative, cooperative housing corporation. Shares in the mutual ditch, mutual ditch. Man, why would I want to be mutually in a ditch with somebody? That's too much in a ditch. I don't want to be in no ditch with no other man. Reservoirs. Oh, man, I've heard about them dogs. Man, them, them, them reservoir dogs and something else. And irrigation companies described in Section 501C, 12A, if at the time of the exchange such shares have been recognized by the highest courts of the state in which the subject company is organized, or by the state statute constituting or representing real property and interest in real property. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. Stocks that is real property recognized by the court? What's the court got to do with anything? Okay, let's go. What's love got to do? Nothing. Nothing. Don't got nothing to do. Love got to sit up there and wait till we finish. Like kind property. Properties are of like kind if they are the same nature, character, even if they differ in grade and quality. Same nature. Promissory notes, Federal Reserve notes. Promissory notes, Federal Reserve notes. Oh, now you're starting to get like kind? So when you give them a promissory note in exchange for Federal Reserve notes, that's a like kind exchange. Yes, I know it took us a long time to get from there to here, 
but the information is right there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to have this information, you can have this information. By the way, somebody, that pastor along the way person, he sent me this. He says that there's a way to go into here and see all of your accounting, all of your information, money.net says that they have access to that junk. I don't know. I've never been to money.net. I'm not advertising money.net because money.net is a rip. I mean, they, they charge a lot of money, okay? Uh, and so because they charge a lot of money, uh, they have a free account. Delay 15 minutes, U.S. equities, currencies, and crypto, okay? See, but see, here it says, says try free for 14 days. It says free, but it says try free for 14 days. Something ain't right. Something, something just ain't right. He sweat. Okay, it just ain't right. All right, so check it out, y'all. Let me know what y'all get because I'm not going there. Okay? Uh-oh, my phone's ringing again. Hold on. It's a wireless person, so y'all hold on now. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the new company calling me, asking me about some questions that I needed to help them with. Now, this is the definition of real property, definition of tangible property, all of these links right here. What I did, like I always do, I right click. I click print. Don't do save as. You do print. Once you do print, come on now, give me the preview. What you sitting up there loading for? Just pop it up. See this right here, everybody? Now you save as PDF. So these 15 pages, I don't need to have these 15 pages here. I can now go to my PDF viewer and pull up the 15 pages. Hold on. Get all the way up to the top. See right here? 15 pages, ladies and gentlemen. 15. Got another call, ladies and gentlemen. This is from one of those individuals who is incarcerated. Hold on. Uh, he'll call back. And the reason why he'll call back is because my system records the call as spam. And I have to unspam it because for some reason, I guess some people have reported that the number is spam. The number ain't spam. You know, and so I have to unspam the call so that my system doesn't automatically send it to spam. Because that's what it's doing. All right, so hold on, y'all. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, the young man I was just talking to has been incarcerated. He has actually done over 20 years. And this is him calling back. So give me a second. There's a reason why we're having this conversation. One... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we were talking about Kanye West. He mentioned something, and I didn't know. He said Kanye West was trying to get out of the deal with Adidas. Apparently, it had a lot of clauses and everything that, you know, he basically was going to be their slave. And so the fact that apparently, you know, he does something that they say violated the terms of the agreement and they canceled the deal, people say, oh, well, he's not a billionaire anymore. So what? He's not a billionaire. He's still worth hundreds of millions of dollars, technically. Uh, according to the system, and that's that. Well, anyway, getting back to this, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you guys know something. I just had to explain this to our staff, and so now I get to explain this to you guys. This is the IRS tax topic, bad debt deductions. See? Bad debt deductions! Sorry about that, just in case y'all didn't understand. Business bad debt. There is general... Okay, y'all met General Lee, right? General Lee says a business bad debt is a loss from a worthlessness of a debt which is either created or acquired in a trade or business. Or is closely related to a trade or business when it becomes partially or totally worthless. So it's a, it's a bad debt. Hold on. I want you to pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we do for y'all. A debt closely related to your trade or business, if it is partial, primary, if the primary motive for incurring the debt is business related. So a uh, bad debt, a business bad debt is a debt that is closely related to a trade or business that the primary motive for incurring the debt is business related. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to pay attention. 
because everybody wants to accuse us of fraud when we're following the law. So give me a second. I think I'll be able to find it here. Give me a second right here. No, this ain't it. This is it right here. Right here. This is it. AMCF.estate forward slash T as in Tom O as in Oliver takes you to this page. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. Cancellation of debt and associated credit account application. The original cost of this program is $10,500. Each of the programs, $10,500. You'll only be required to pay the amount indicated above, $580, plus that which is stipulated in the first paragraph of the section and nothing else. Why? Because we're discounting it, ladies and gentlemen, and we're accepting the loss as a business-related loss, a bad debt, and we get to deduct it. Okay, so you don't mind if we follow the law, do you? It's not about the money. I keep telling everybody, it's not about the money. We're not here to rob. We're not here to steal. We're not here to take from Paul, Tom, Mary, Jane, or Joe. But we are here to let you know one thing, ladies and gentlemen. IRS says that your bills of exchange are moolah, money, 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 okay? IRS tax topic 453 tells you, pay attention, that you get to write off your bad debt because it's bad, okay? Bad. Debt is bad. No, it isn't. Not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. So, ladies and gentlemen, since you have it right here that the IRS accepts bills of exchange, since you have it right here, uh-oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? Uh-oh. It, it, it went, y'all. Where y'all go? Oh, snap. I lost my bills of exchange section. Oh, well. Looks like we done, we done lost it. Uh-oh, w foes. Hey, guys, here are the w foe process. Right here. Here is the w foe process. It, the procedures and everything, employers are no longer required to submit questionable W-4 forms unless the IRS requests them in writing. Questionable. If any W-4 form is received, use the following table to determine its disposition. Okay? W-4 form is attached to 3210 document transmittal. A return is not present. Destroy as classified waste. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're doing the W-4, follow this, okay? Follow this because they will destroy it if you don't do it right. This correspondence is addressing information on Form W-4. No Form 3210 or tax return is present. Destroys classified waste. You guys, your, your W-4 is that W-4 sandwich and everything. They're destroying your junk. Don't let them destroy your junk. Move the form W-4 to the back and route to tax return. W-4 is attached to tax return. There you go. Bing, bang, bing, 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 bing. So when you hear people like Mr. Rice tell you you need a 1040, Mr. Rice is correct because that's what the rules say. Follow the rules, follow the rules, follow the rules, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Woo. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to do this. I want you to pay attention. Bill. Uh oh. I L L of. That's the one I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Ladies and gentlemen, I put bill of exchange and it took me here. Now, why will it routing offshore voluntary disclosure? Program payments. Why would it take me there? Hmm. Interesting, ain't it? Now, I'm not interested in that. That says Bill of Rights, Bill of Rights. I need Bills of Exchange. Bill of Exchange, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why Bill of Exchange is so important, this is not for you. This is for the IRS. This is their manual. The reason why Bill of Exchange is so important, let me show you. 
TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Come on, one more time. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Come on now. Ding dong. Anyway, uh, Tim Conway Jr., he does the ding dong thing. I, I, he gets on my nerves. I'm not a big fan of Tim Conway. I am. I got to admit it. I am a big fan of Tim Conway. His father, a genius. I'm sorry. His father really was a genius. Ladies and gentlemen, when I looked this up before, that's where the 8824 uh, form came in. Okay? Not the 9814, the 8824, that's where that form. I need to show that to you. Give me a second because I don't appreciate this right here that it's not showing up now. So give me a second to get back here. What we're going to do is we're going to go here. 8824. And I purposely am here so I can go back to this right here. 8824, that's not the one I want. This is the one I want. See where I was looking at bill of exchange form? How do I use an 8824? What form is used for like kind exchange? So let's click what form is used for like kind exchange, 8824. That's how I found 8824. Thus, I took you guys to what form? 8824, like kind exchange. After reviewing it for the first time today and speaking with someone because he and I were having a conversation and I took him this route and I decided to share it with y'all. Why did I decide to share this with you all? Because I think some of you will benefit from it. I got work to do, ladies and gentlemen, but I wanted to share this with you all. Like kind exchanges. This is information that's going to prove to be very extremely beneficial to all of you okay go back over this video understand it run with it roll with it but take your time with it okay understand it first like kind exchange and then start doing your taxes the right way so that you are not ending up having to pay but having things come back to you Whew. okay Wanted to do this. I knew this was going to be a long video. It's only 38 minutes, but I wanted to do it. Wanted to get this information out to you guys. There is so much more information. We got stuff to talk about Social Security. There is a uh, Mr. Rice and the people that he's associated with. They've been going. He's got individuals that he's communicated with in some of the Telegram groups and Telegram anyway. And in their group they've been talking about social security and the social security code that says that you're lost at sea until you do the announcement. I'll be doing a video on that shortly, showing you the code and showing you what's required according to the law for declaring yourself no longer dead. And if you're no longer dead and recognize you can receive a letter from social security saying you're no longer dead, a government agency, there you go. Ta-da! Talk to you about that in a minute. Take care, everyone.